Christians argue that complex things need a designer, or design things need a designer, or contingent things need a, a creator. And so people will wonder, well, why, if that's the case, doesn't God himself also need a creator? If complex things need a creator, isn't God more complex? And then, therefore, doesn't he need a, a cause of his existence? I think we need to clarify, our claim is not that everything needs a cause. It seems that that's the fundamental misunderstanding here. The Christian claim is not that all things need causes, whether they're uh, exhibit design, whether they're complex, whether they're contingent. Our claim is not that all things need a cause because we believe there ultimately has to be a sufficient cause that grounds everything. So maybe a, a better way, a more helpful way uh, to think about this would be to say all events need causes. All events need causes. So any event needs a cause. We do believe that. Of course, God's not an event, right? God is an agent. So our claim would be all events need causes, uh, but not all agents need causes. Certainly some agents do. Personal agents like humans or angels or uh, demons, those need causes. Uh, but ultimately there is one agent who doesn't need a cause. And the way we reason to this, right? This is not a God of the gaps argument, but the way that we reason to this is that, look, an event is not a sufficient cause for the first cause. An event cannot ground uh, the existence of everything else because events need causes. We have good reason to think that all events need causes. So you've got to look outside of event causation. But the only other kind of causation that's available to us is agent causation. Now, of course, it can't be me as an agent. I don't have the power. I'm not timeless and spaceless. I'm not immaterial. I'm not intelligent enough to bring a universe into existence. So, so who, who's the candidate then? Well, God is. God's the only candidate. And so you have a sufficient cause for complex things, for design things, for contingent things. And that is why we point to God as the uncaused cause. And that's why God does not need to be designed himself, because he is the ground of all existence. So it seems to me that that provides an explanation for why God does not need a cause. He's not the kind of being that needs a cause. He's an uncaused cause. Now, you might not like the answer, that's fine, but it doesn't follow that because Christians believe that, uh, you know, designed things here in this universe need a cause, that therefore everything that exists need a cause. We believe that every worldview ultimately has a stopping point. And so maybe you stop with the universe, we think you can actually do one better and stop with God. God is the best explanation for the ultimate grounding of everything.